back to Call of Duty Mobile, everybody. Today, we have a new gameplay in store for y'all with the ASM-10. And actually, it was the first time I ever used the ASM-10 class. So yeah, pretty freaking dope. If you guys want to know the settings I was using during this video, I just uploaded the other day a settings video. It should be popping up right around now in like the upper right-hand corner. That way that you can go and check out to kind of see the settings that i am using i am doing this on an iphone not on a tablet or anything and before we dive in i also wanted to announce the winner of the giveaway we were doing over on the crate video because in case you guys don't know every time we do a crate opening in call of duty mobile we're also going to be doing a giveaway to coincide with it and to kind of give back to you guys so make sure you are subscribed with that notification bell to stay tuned for those videos and if you guys want more honestly if we get hit like let's say 2,000 likes on this very video, then the next Call of Duty mobile video I upload, regardless of what it is, we'll do a giveaway on, so yeah. Boom, here is the winner, that way, of the giveaway that we were doing over on the crate opening video, so if this is you, make sure to reply to that pinned comment in that comment section down below, letting me know the best way to privately get in touch with you, so I can go and hook you up with that code that you just have one of the $25 gift card variety. And if you guys haven't checked out that crate opening video, definitely give it a look, because it's actually how we managed to get this ASM-10 Black Gold and a couple of other skins, and overall, it was it was a pretty fun video to edit together, so hopefully y'all enjoy, but without further ado, let's dive into the new gameplay we have in store for you guys today so this is the class that i was using i was using the asm 10 for the very first time i did have some attachments unlocked for it because i actually uh used some of the weapon cards to upgrade all the way to level seven the attachments i was rocking was the red dot site personally i prefer the red dot and i've seen a lot of people prefer the red dot towards or against the holographic site and then i like to use the stock ar which increases movement speed while aiming the uh foregrip ar to reduce recoil while aiming and the quick draw ar to aim faster overall i just try to make my aim as fine-tuned as possible with the attachments this might be up to personal preference but personally i've really been finding a lot of success with using this kind of like three combo over here the stock the quick draw and the foregrip it's probably been like one of my favorite combinations and then in terms of the perks that we were running personally out of the kill streaks, i'm a big fan of the scythe because it literally mows people down in like two or three bullets most of the time once you get it unlocked uh the pistol i didn't really use but i usually just use the mw11 uh in terms of the perks so in terms of the perks we were using we were rocking the lightweight perk over in that first slot the vulture perk which is always super essential if you are trying to go on big kill streaks and especially on nukes the vulture perk is going to be your best friend because when you kill someone you can get ammo off their dead body which is incredibly valuable and then on the third side just the hardline perk and then in terms of the score streaks that i was rocking if you're going for a nuke i kind of recommend just having the uav and uh, for the most part maybe i could have been running a counter uav instead of the airdrop but for the most part a uav and then the cheapest kill streaks besides the uav so you get the uav as many times as possible because kill streaks that get you kills don't count towards the nuke but you can use the uav to always see where enemies are kind of pre-fire around corners potentially and help you get go on gun streaks so the uav is probably like the most valuable by far and besides that I mean, you can make an argument for the counter UAV, but I kind of want to go with the airdrop because it just costs less points. And then I could cycle back to getting the UAV again. Because after you get your third kill streak, uh, you'll start like the points you get from that point on will go back towards getting your first kill streak again. It kind of like carries over if that makes sense but there's the info i have kind of justifying my class justifying my loadout and i just genuinely cannot believe that the first time i used the asm 10 i like i did this like i'm definitely i've kind of might be using rifles a little bit more than my beloved pdw 57 but i don't know asm 10 is definitely dope and here we are playing domination on hijacked and for the very first time using the asm 10 at first i literally forgot that i had to switch to the second loadout because this was my first time using the asm 10 so i had to go over to that and i was not like i wasn't 100 expecting anything to come out of this but i was like you know what i'm gonna record this gameplay just in case because i was just kind of playing on the couch so this is a little bit of a post commentary kind of explaining what's been going on usually when a game starts off this frag doesn't get me anything but it is good to kind of like pre-fire and there we have the first kill of many sliding is something very important you want to be doing that dude is a potato unfortunately i was too fortunately they were a bigger potato so we had that going for us and at this point i'm just kind of like trying to cap b a little bit and reload i always have this problem where sometimes i will uh watch him a call take that man down and get our uav unlocked i don't know why i tried climbing up that ladder ladders are like really weird in call of duty mobile for some reason at this point i just kind of want to like check this long not hallway but this long stretch because sometimes i'll find people over there i always have this problem where sometimes i'll reload and i don't really mow that man down there uh i kind of have this problem 
where I'll reload. And right before the reload technically finishes, I'll like move around. Sorry about trying to shoot you there, buddy. Uh, I'll move around or something or like cancel the reload. Because in like most Call of Duty games, you can usually cancel a reload before the animation is fully done. So that was kind of throwing me off for a little bit. Just wanted to use the UAV here a little bit. I'm going to be completely honest. I definitely had like a dirt moment or two throughout this because my fingers were extremely like, I don't even know. Like that right there. For some reason, I stopped shooting. I don't know, man. I don't know. And over here, we got a nice little lineup for a couple kills. Had a triple kill right there. And then knew that man was coming around the corner. Again, shouts out to the UAV. Incredibly important for you to be running that. Just unlocked the site, so we should be able to uh, use that bad boy now. And we're just gonna try to like run around, mow that man down over there. And just kind of back spawn them, not back spawn them, but back cap them. We keep on reversing the spawns because in domination, if you kind of like, you can for the most part kind of like relegate people to one spawn, but our team was kind of all over the place. My aim for this second kill was trash, but the scythe is really good. The war machine's pretty good too. Yeah, there's the trash I was talking about, but first half, definitely not looking good. But we were on a little bit of a kill streak. I actually check around a 12 kill streak at this point. So things are looking a little bit up. But yeah, I had like really greasy fingers for some reason. So sometimes I would kind of like derp up and just mess up. Was saving the UAV for the beginning of the round. Always be aware if you're playing domination when a round's about to end. Because you might want to save kill streaks. Always be very careful checking that hallway if you're playing on hijacked. Because some people peek around the corner. And if you can, it gives you a great vantage point into B when people try to run around it. We knew that guy was coming around the corner, so we were able to pre-fire a little bit. And it's just overall a really good spot to kind of like have some good cover and be able to kind of shoot into that central area and also kind of move and aim down that long hallway. Got another UAV going, because again, UAVs are pretty much the king of killstreaks if you're going for this. And seriously, the ASM-10 is just showing how good it is. Again, try to make sure you use your nades when you can, because you have one every time you respawn, so might as well get you a kill like it did right there. I'm not 100% sure if nade streaks or if nades actually count towards it. But hey, look at that. We got another UAV like I was talking about. Always make sure you run over the dead bodies to collect those ammo bags. And you guys just saw for a split second there, our very first nuke. Literally the first time I ever used this gun. Now we got ourselves into a pretty bad situation there. We were literally in the middle of their spawn. But at that point I saw that we had the nuke. So I kind of stopped caring about, you know, 100% staying alive because you can pop this thing open and uh, send it in. We got T minus 10 seconds. And when it drops, dude, this just reminds me. That's just Modern Warfare 2 vibes, man. Kills everyone on the other team. You guys can just see we just got a Penta kill and then we're going back to mowing them down in their spawn and trying to rack up a couple more kills just because we died doesn't mean i'm done going for the kills although i derped over there and there i checked to make sure i'm recording because i'm like oh my god i actually just got this the first time you see this gun like i'm saying i wasn't expecting it but i always try to be careful and like record whenever i play but seriously the recoil control on the asm 10 is really good the scythe is really good too <laughs> but again, I got myself into a nasty situation. I kind of panicked. I saw I was getting shot at from two sides. And uh, led to another L. But look at that score. It's 80 to 92 right now. 81, 92. 82, 92. Things are not looking good. Like, technically speaking, even though we have two points over one, that's not enough. We need to dominate them. So I'm doing what I can. Going back into the back of their spawn. And we just dominated them. We have all three points at this point. They're not spawning on A. I know that they're going to be spawning on B or C. I'm running my booty over to B. I know someone's going to be over there. No, no, no. <laughs> not today. B stays alive. And the comeback is somehow done. Dude, I don't know how he did it. But I like to think that my nuke contributed. And uh, that's hopefully going to be the first of many. And... Uh, I'm definitely going to probably try and use rifles a little bit more because they had a pretty good effect, I would say. So you guys have our very first nuke gameplay with the ASM-10. Let me know if you, there's any other guns you guys want to specifically see me try to get nukes with. But personally, I've been using the PDW forever. But I just can't believe the first time I used the ASM-10 that that happened. So the ASM-10 definitely has my seal of approval. 
Uh, if you guys have access to the gun, I think you need a pretty high level to get it. But if you have a skin, you should be able to get it a little bit earlier. I recommend it because you went 37, 3, and 16 for almost 5,000 points. That is literally the best game I've ever had. <laughs> but there you guys have it. Our very first nuke and, well, it happened the very first time we're using the ASM-10. So the ASM-10 has a very special place in my heart. And I'm probably going to be trying to use this class a little bit more. And also, there is another perk that I really want to get. I don't have it yet, but I'm really looking forward to getting the Agile perk, which lets you uh, aim weapons after sprinting faster by 85%. If you guys noticed during that game, I was sprinting a lot. So I'm two levels away from getting that. I will let you guys know exactly how that perk is, but personally, I feel like that perk might be huge for me, especially because, as you guys would see in my settings video, one of the settings that personally I find a lot of success with, as you have just seen, is the shooting mode where you can actually, as you guys are seeing over here in this little like image over there, as you press the fire button, your guy also scopes in. Some people are kind of against it, but if you're on a phone especially, it is very useful, and as you guys saw, I mean, it is, it has a lot of potential too, but... With that said, with that done, that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for our very first nuke a gameplay. Cannot wait to get some more guys. Nah, cannot wait to get some more your way and cannot wait for uh, some more COD Mobile videos coming your way as well. Because I have been addicted to this game probably the most since like uh, Call of Duty games since like Modern Warfare 2. It is just too convenient. It's on my phone too, not like on an iPad. So like if I have a couple minutes to kill, dude, I'm hopping into a game. I'm having some fun. But uh, that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you guys. a whole ton for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next COD Mobile video. Peace.